What's up guys, Trev Smashworks. You know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you all the good stuff and I'm gonna do it for free. We're gonna be talking about shoulder impingement and I mean real long-term chronic shoulder impingement. That, that brutal pain you get right in the top of the shoulder where if you raise your arm, it just barks at you all the time. Can't bring your hand overhead because it hurts all the time. So massive pinching pain in the shoulder, no matter what, wherever you try and bring your arm, it's gonna cause pain. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it permanently. All right, so the bottom line with a shoulder impingement, and I mean like a true shoulder impingement, that, that massive pain like I was just talking about, the bottom line is there's, there's a lot of shoulder drills you can do. I've posted probably about 500 to 1,000 of them. There's lots of guys out there that are doing it really, really well that are posting things. But the problem is it keeps coming back. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it permanently. It's arduous, it's time consuming. And, and you know what, as soon as I say that, that's like the worst sales ever but it's the, the friggin' truth. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that pain by going through a whole bunch of reasons why this happens first, and then how to combat that and get out of that pain. So you don't wake up with shoulder pain. You, you can actually bring your arms over your head. There's a lot of things that you need to be able to do with your shoulders that you can't do when you have an impingement. So the first thing you have to remember is about 95% of shoulder impingements are caused by an issue with the tendon coming off of the supraspinatus that wraps around the top of the humerus right here. So what it does is that the supraspinatus comes right here. It's on supraspinatus, so there's something called the spine of the scapula right here. The supraspinatus runs down here and then it runs underneath through this, this bony groove and then attaches right on the outside of the, uh, of, the, of the humerus. And what it does is it, for the most part, it does the first 15 degrees of abduction. So abduction is away, adduction is towards the body. So it does about the first 15 degrees of abduction and then the rest of the mechanics take over on the way up. Now, if you have an issue with this, you're gonna have a shoulder impingement issue 99% of the time. So we wanna take the pressure off that tendon that comes underneath uh, that bony prominence here, but we wanna take it off from the pressure on the bottom and the pressure on the top. The, the tendon gets compressed this way. It com gets compressed by the humerus itself pushing up into the tendon, and it gets compressed by the uh, acromion and the clavicle on the top, on the top of the tendon. So we wanna get rid of all that. We wanna get rid of that sandwich that's happening between two bones. The tendon's gonna fray and get demolished. It doesn't matter what you do. So we wanna, outside of just creating space, we wanna fix the mechanics because the shoulders tend to do this. So if the shoulders are, are sitting in like this, and, and you're someone that works on a keyboard or, or you play a lot of video games or you're like my son and you bust out a lot of Fortnite, but he's badass because he does all kinds of other stuff too to stay fit. So, but if your shoulders roll in, the mechanics instantly put you in a compromised position where you're going to have an impingement. And watch, here's the test. So what I want you to do is take your hands, right? We're gonna turn them out. So I'm about like this. So I'm gonna turn them out and I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades almost like I'm trying to squeeze them together. So I'm, I'm hyper extending my chest. So I'm gonna rope, I'm gonna turn my hands out, I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together, I'm gonna pull my head back into a neutral position, I'm gonna push my tongue into the roof of my mouth. Yes, really. And then I'm gonna bring my arms all the way up, okay? This is how they should be. If you do this, or you raise your shoulder and you go, oh my God, I can't do that. It's because your shoulders are rotated internally and they're banging into bone and tissue and you have an impingement. No matter what anyone says, here's the, the other side of the test. Put yourself in an impingement. Take your hands from this position, roll them in and bring your shoulders in. Now try and raise your arms over your head. You're gonna get to about here. Damn, that hurts. And that's about all you've got. And for all you guys that go, no, I can do it. You're rolling your arms, you're rolling your humerus. So just stop arguing. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna create some space and we wanna allow the tissue to work and relax the way it's designed. And the first thing we need to do is actually put you into an overhead position. The easiest way to do that, and you've seen me do this before, is grab onto a pole and put yourself into that overhead position. I'm gonna show you a better way of doing it. We're gonna grab a band, okay? We're gonna take the band, we're just gonna wrap it around. I want you to actively be pushing down, so I need to go a little tighter. So we're gonna take the band, like so, and I'm gonna actually push down slightly. So now I'm engaging the lat, the teres, part of the pec, the serratus anterior, subscap, even the delt, all kinds of stuff, even the tricep and the bicep are, are engaging here. You can see by this massive horseshoe I have right here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
It's a little bit messy. So we're gonna push down actively, elbow locked out, thumb up. So you can see I've got my thumb up in this position. And then I'm just gonna go into a hip hinge and I'm gonna put my shoulder and my head all the way through while pushing down. You've gotta push down. If not, this isn't gonna work, it's gonna hurt. And then we're gonna come all the way back up to neutral. And then I'm gonna do it again. And then we're gonna come all the way back up to neutral. It should only take about two to three seconds to go through the entire repetition while pushing down. That's number one. You gotta do that. Now number two is, we're gonna work on extra rotation to get those shoulders to open up, but I've got two really killer ways to do that. First one's with a band. Yep, you need to buy some bands. So you're gonna take your hand, you're gonna put it through the band. So I'm gonna wrap it up just a little bit, just like this. This is a really, really light band. You don't need anything really, really crazy. You just need a little bit of resistance. So external rotation is this. So we're gonna go from this position. So the band is pretty loose. We're gonna go and we're gonna load it 90 degrees. Then we're gonna abduct the shoulder, okay? So there's more to this, but I just want you to understand this. We're gonna externally rotate, minor load. Abduct the shoulder, externally rotate again. Externally rotate, we're gonna push out in a V. And then back, down, in, and again, I know it's a lot of steps. Trust me, you wanna do this stuff. Once shoulders act up, they're almost impossible to clear up, so I want you guys to never have shoulder issues. So again, externally rotate. Abduct, externally rotate, press up in a V, come back down, and then you're just gonna do the reverse of that. Sets of 10 to 15 reps. You're gonna do both sides, even if it's just one side or the other side that's hurting. Do both, you gotta do both. You start doing one side, the other side's gonna get all jacked up. That's number two, okay? Number three is what I call a sweep. So we're gonna go from this position, same thing, really light band, and we're just gonna bring our hand from here up but you're gonna pull your scapula, your shoulder blade, down into your back pocket. So in this case, it's gonna be on my left scapula, pulling down into my back pocket. So we're gonna come up, and then back down, I'm smacking into my wife's vest. Good, so again, I'm across, right? Put your hand on your hip, put it up here, jump around, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna take our hand, we're gonna cut, so elbow is locked out, thumb is up, always thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up, there, and then back down, again. So this, is your movement because we're working on pulling the scapula down and back and squeezing the shoulder blades together. So you get that shoulder back into what's called a centralized position because if you lose joint centralization, what happens is the head of the humerus slides forward and starts grinding away on everything and pinching that tendon, jacks everything up. So what do we have, number three? All right, so number four, I, if you can see, my legs are about a foot away from the wall. I'm gonna be up and tall, I want my butt my shoulder blades and my head like this. I don't want it like this. And then I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna put them up against the wall. I'm doing this from a different angle because you guys look at it from the front and, and I don't think you understand what I'm doing. So I'm gonna keep my entire arm against the wall the entire time. I'm gonna bring it up and then I'm gonna come back down as far as I can, trying to bring my elbows down into my side and then up and then back down, up, and then back down. You're gonna do three sets of 12 to 15. This is gonna make your shoulders on fire. I promise you it's gonna change your game though. So that's number four. Number five, we're gonna take this. This is a very light band. I want you guys to take a look at this band. Here's the band, here's the size of my finger. See what I mean? Really light. We're gonna take the band. I'm gonna be slightly wider than shoulder. This is the movement we're gonna do, okay? This is the movement we're doing. What I want you to do is you're gonna go fast. You're gonna go fast out, and then you're gonna come all the way back in. Fast out, and then all the way back in. Fast out, parallel to the floor. I don't want you doing that banded three-way that I do for training. This is just to work on tendons, yeah? okay? That's number five. Do these things, I promise you. They seem complicated, they seem arduous, they seem like it's a lot of work. Shoulder surgery is a lot of work. It's a pain in the butt if you can avoid it. If it's unavoidable, go get it done. But other than that, you do these five things, I promise you, three times a week for the rest of your life, you will get rid of your shoulder impingement and it'll never come back again. I, I promise you that. That's how this works. Hey, listen, I'm Trev, Smashworks. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe, please subscribe. Tell everybody about this stuff because I want everyone to never need to go to a doctor. Like it, if you don't like it, leave a comment. Tell me why you didn't like it so I can get, so I can get better for you guys. 
All right, listen, Trev Smashworks, I love you guys. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of it. Leave comments, ask questions. I'll check you guys out later. Thank <laughs> you.